Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I thought we would look at a new purchase I have here. As you can see on the box, it is a DC power supply. This is from Nice Power, and it is their SPS 1203 DC power supply. It outputs zero to 120 volts and zero to three amps. And it plugs into standard US Canadian outlet, so 115 volts AC. So let's take a look. Yes, I already popped the box open when it came in. I'd just like to check that everything looked okay, but we haven't taken it out yet. So let's see what's in here. First things first. We get a power. We get a power supply user manual. Uh, some quick instructions: how to adjust the constant current without a load. A product certificate. This instills confidence. And the manual covers what looks like. It says 300 watts on the front. Um, specifications, specifications. Okay, that's. It looks like this covers all of their power supplies. Nice power sells a number of different versions of this power supply. Uh, different voltage and amperage ratings, uh, different configurations. Um, I mean, user manual, it just kind of labels the controls, but it's a power supply. So, there's not a whole lot of mystery to it. Uh, looks well packed. Pop the styrofoam off the sides. And let's see here. All right. And here it is. And it is indeed a nice power supply. Uh, comes with a standard, standard power cable. And you get a set of test leads, power leads that go off to alligator clips. So we'll put those to the side. Let's unwrap the cable. A little on the stiff side. And let's plug it in and see what it does. And okay, um, here we go. For everyone who loves this, let's peel this off. And that ripped. That was not what was supposed to happen. So let's see if we can't get that plastic off the front here little help. Ah, beautiful. All right, so it has a nice display on it. Yeah, let's prop it up a little bit. It's got a nice display on it. It's got a four-digit display for volts, amps, and watts, so it's nice. It'll show how much power it's, it's is being drawn. Uh, coarse and fine adjustment for both amp setting and volt setting. Um, it will do constant current, constant voltage. Uh, it also has a two amp USB port in the front for charging things. That's nice and convenient. And it has three binding posts. We've got, you know, plus and minus and a ground in the middle. Um, I have another nice power supply. Um, all the same sort of features. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, 
you know, it's small, it's very light. Uh, it's a switching power supply, so no big transformer. Um, you know, the binding posts seem, the binding posts are cheap. I mean, let's be real. This was, you know, 50 bucks from China, 60 bucks, something like that. Um, I ordered mine from Amazon, but you can get these on uh, Banggood, AliExpress, all the usual, all the usual places where you'll find fine, fine Chinese made electronic components. But it see, but overall, you know, it's a good build. Um, I've opened up my other one, and it's very cleanly, cleanly put together inside. Uh, has a fan on the back, which will come on if the power gets, you know, a little too hot. So you can run this at at at, f at full power, pretty reliably. Uh, you know, so let's just let's run through some some of the, some voltages on it just to take a look I'm gonna plug in my oh, that glare is not good uh, let's put this down flat here I'm gonna plug in my unity u39 e plus multimeter figure we'll keep things all in the family here Chinese power supply Chinese multimeter Plug that in. Uh, can I do something about that glare? Um, yes, I can. There we go. All right. So, like most of these, we do turn the current setting up a bit before we can bring the voltage up. All right. And power supply is telling us it's at 20.66 volts. Meter showing 2072. Let's go down a bit. Five and a quarter, five to seven. One ninety two, one ninety three. See, we go up higher. Interesting, the voltage keeps rising on the other. All right, so 91.84 versus 91.97. I don't know. Let's try something that's perhaps a bit more accurate. I'm going to take a look with my Fluke 27 FM. Nope, it's shown the same, 91.7, so. Meters are internal metering I th is a little bit off. It does go up to the 120 volts that it says it's supposed to. So I'll be honest, I'm I'm not particularly worried that it's off a couple of millivolts one way or the other. Because anything I do with it, I'm going to check with an external meter anyway. Um, but let's just look at the setting it for constant current. So constant current setting on these is pretty simple. Yeah, it's not instantaneous. You know, the internal caps have to discharge to get down to the to a voltage, but what you do with these is you set them for something below five volts. So we'll, we'll go down here to here, two volts. You short the leads. Uh, 
and then while they're shorted you know what I'm just gonna do this this way and then while the leads are shorted you can set what you want your current setting to be so if we set this for let's say we'll set it for, for 500 millivolts So once you set that, then let me uh, let's find something to plug into here. All right, I've hooked a small little toy motor up to this, and um, I've adjusted the current to about a constant 225 milliamps. And if we bring the voltage up, we can see that current's at 225 milliamps, 1.25, 1.3 volts. If I increase the voltage, I can crank the voltage all the way up, and it stays at 225 millivolts, milliamps. My bad. I can increase that. So let's go up to 250. Again, voltage stays constant, you know, current is constant. So here, if I go up to 339, 340. Again, voltage up in that range doesn't change. This is my other nice power power supply. It uh, looks very similar. This one's a horizontal one, and I have it sitting on top of my other two power supplies here. Uh, same controls, same features, works the same way. Only difference is this will do 0 to 30 volts and up to 10 amps of current. So, you know, like I said, construction wise, it's the same, same type of fan. Um, I've looked inside this one, pretty standard switching power supply. Um, you know, it's got a thermistor on the, on the heat sink plate. If things get too warm, the fan in the back will kick on. So, so far I haven't had any problem with it. They've been, uh, you know. It's been very reliable. Does what it's supposed to do, does it well, didn't cost a lot of money. So that's about it. This is the nice power supply. Uh, cheap and cheerful, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, don't have any complaints. Uh, it'll make a nice addition to the bench. Like I said, I picked mine up on Amazon, but only because I didn't want to wait for shipping for a month from China. But Banggood, AliExpress, they all sell these. Uh, it's light, it's compact, works well, so if you're looking for an inexpensive switching power supply, uh, check this one out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Alright, thanks for watching. See everyone later.